you've asked about machine learning and we have a watermelon here. You know, you used to uh, go to the store, pick up a watermelon, uh, maybe your family told you, you push on the end to see if it's soft and that means it's a good watermelon or if it smells a certain way, that's how you tell if it's a good watermelon. Well, with machine learning, you don't do any of that. You basically try to determine all of the attributes about this watermelon that you can, and you take those attributes and you feed them into a baby machine model that knows nothing. Um, how fat the stripes are, how thin they are. And, and you, you feed all these attributes into that model, you go home, you eat the watermelon. You come back in the next day and you tell that model, that was a good watermelon. And it remembers all of those attributes and the fact that it was good. And you're gonna do that every day for the next 10 years. After 10 years, that model is going to be able to tell you, based on attributes that you give it, if the watermelon you've picked up is good or bad. And you may not know why that that model is telling you it's good or bad, um, but you can trust that it has done enough analysis and it can tell you a percentage, a surety of whether it's good or bad, that when you pick up a watermelon, give it the attributes, if it says it's good, you can take it home and it will be good.